Okay, welcome. Today we are going to look at how to bring OPCUA data in from a Capware OPC server um, into Status Enterprise and Status Device Cloud. So I've installed Capware 6.2 and you want to make sure that you've got Capware 6.2 or higher. There are a number of bugs in Capware server uh, where certain addresses um, may not work properly and, and they've got this all fixed now. Um, but you want to make sure you're using 6.2 or higher. If, if you're using something older, there is a, a patch that you can get that will fix some of these issues. So I have the, the Kepware server installed. And um, I'm going to right click um, on the Kepware server and I'm going to go to OPC UA settings. And I want to edit the endpoint that I'm going to connect to. So there's a couple of endpoints here already using uh, basic uh, 128 and, and basic 256 with sign and encrypt. Um, for security to connect to the server and we can use those but th we have to muck around with certificates and things like that I don't want to do that in this video so I'm just going to add none as an available security policy for that uh, Kepware OPC server and this is the address here that we're going to use uh, to connect uh, to that Kepware server so I'm going to close this and uh, I'm going to have that uh, OPC UA server uh, restart and next we're going to go into uh, Status Enterprise. We're going to go to the Model Designer and we're going to connect to our Status Server. So I might be connecting locally in the case of Status Enterprise. I might be connecting to the web in the case of Status Device Cloud. It doesn't really matter. It's just a different endpoint. Everything is exactly the same. So taking a look at my model um, under Assets here, I have a pump with a flow rate property on it. And this is the property that I want to bind to my uh, live OPC UA data coming out of the Cupware OPC UA server. Um, so in order to, to create the mappings and, and live data um, into the system, we come to the data mapping tab, we connect to our data connector service. Now if I'm running um, a status enterprise, that's going to be local on my network uh, probably. Status device cloud, that data connector service could be local on your network if you installed it. You can also use the data connector service that's hosted out in Status Device Cloud. So you could use either of those data connector services. Just a different endpoint. Don't forget your password. So we're going to create a new configuration. And I'm just going to call this Configuration UA. The first thing that it does is, is the software says, well, where's your live data coming from? What kind of, of protocol or, or sensors? Uh, so we're going to go under OPC. We're going to select OPC UA is where our data is coming from. Our endpoint is going to be the one that uh, we had with the Kepware server. And our security policy is going to be none, right? If we want to use these guys up here for basic encryption, um, we need to um, set up certificates to do that. We're not going to be doing that uh, in this demo. So there, there's the address set up, OPC UA. I'm going to close this and I'm going to click the connect button up here. And what that does is it does two things. On the left side, it's going to collect, connect to my model. So here's my pump with my flow rate. On the right side is my Capware OPC UA server. So here's the values that are available in the server. And I can figure out where I've got um, live data that I can connect to. If I go back to the Capware configuration and I select um, this quick client, I can browse through the tags that are available in that Kepler OPC server um, and I can see under uh, functions that I've got some nice, li nice live data that I can connect to. So those are the values I'm going to target um, within status. So we just saw that if we go under uh, simulation functions that these were live values that were updating so I'm going to select uh, sign and now I've got a value on the left here. This is the property in my model that I want to have updated and this is on the right the value in the OPC UA server that I want to provide uh, the data from. So I can right click anywhere now and select add mapping. So now as this sign one value changes in the OPC server it's going to update this flow rate property of pump A1. And I'm going to save that configuration and that configuration will automatically get loaded now by the data connector service. The data connector service is going to monitor that value in the OPC UA server and when the value changes it's going to turn around and it's going to update that property in, uh, in status in my, in my data model. So I'm going to now launch my Mimic Designer 
and I've got a, a very simple screen that's already set up here and it's just a single LED display and I'm going to browse through my model I'm going to select pump A1 and the flow rate and I'm going to double click on the flow rate property so that it binds that property to the LED display and I'm going to hit run and now we should have some live data so what's happening now is the OPC UA server is updating that simulated value uh, it's coming into the data connector service data connector service is looking at the mapping and say okay here's the property I need to update in the model and it's updating that value and as the model changes those events um, of the value changes in the model get fired off to any clients that are listening and that includes the uh, this runtime client with the LED display that's got that value that we're watching so that's it very simple how we map uh, live data to a Kepware OPC UA server into Status Enterprise and Status Device Cloud. Thank you for your time.